Oh, okay. Continuing where we left off. So we saw this normal curve and uh, just that you are, um, it's really comes from a histogram of natural, but then we actually get a mathematical curve to define it. And so um, let's look at it a little bit more specifically. Um, and so say you had a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. The, the IQ score um, usually talks about it that way as an average of 100 and standard deviation of 15. Now, like if you want to find the percentage that are within here, you can use that rule of 68, 95, and 99.7 to help you determine what percent or what and um, like from like from the uh, that basically the area here that's covered or what percentage of the area of the, or what percentage of the histograms are in here, um, you can use this rule to do that. And so we actually know that um, some things. And so if we know that 68% of the data is in here, and so I'm just going to kind of write that in there. 68 go from here to here then we also know that 16 have to cover the outside so 16 have to be here and here and so like just to kind of shade it in this is 16 percent and then this has to be 16 percent like think about what 16 68 and 16 add up to that's 100 percent and then same same idea, like we know that 98% or 95% lie between here and here. So this is 95. And so in that case, then we know that 2.5 have to lie here and 2.5 have to lie here. And so let me, so, so this is 95% of the data. And so that means this is 2.5 and this is 2.5. So if this is 16, 16, I'm just going to shade that in, 16, and this is 2.5, then we know that this area here would have to be 16% minus 2.5%, which is a total of 13.5%. Uh, and so based on really just three standard deviations, we can actually say a lot. And then we can also round numbers to these three standard deviations just to get a rough idea. And so you can say, well, if it's normally distributed and you got the standard deviation, you can always kind of estimate using these, th these numbers, 68, 95, 99.7, roughly what an area is going to be. And so that's how you do it. And so let's kind of keep going with this. Now, the, the Z-score... Um, we're just going to stop that and do it in the next video.